Hi everyone, we're here at the Project Lead the Way Summit in Indianapolis. We've just wrapped up a great general session. Over 1,100 educators, policymakers, business and industry leaders here from all over the country uh, here talking about what's happening in Project Lead the Way classrooms all across the country as well. I'm Dave Dimmitt, Senior Vice President and Project Lead the Way, and I'm joined by Beth Spurgeon from ArcelorMittal, one of our great partners. And so, Beth, would you mind talking just a little bit about the work that you do at, at ArcelorMittal? Absolutely. So ArcelorMittal is the world's largest steel and mining company, and there I serve as lead for corporate responsibility and sustainability initiatives for our work in North America. You know, we've, we've talked about a lot of the skills that students are developing in their Project Lead the Way pathways. We've talked a lot about uh, professional skills. What are the skills that you're looking for at ArcelorMittal in the workforce of the future? Absolutely. Well, we're looking for skills that you would expect from most companies that are technology-based and that are innovation-based. We want innovative thinking. We want collaboration. We want teamwork skills. And I think that's one of the things that we love about Project Lead the Way is that it's really building towards those skills. You know, ArcelorMittal is supporting uh, schools to start their Project lead the way program and sustain it. You're doing that in seven states around your ArcelorMittal um, facilities. Can, can you talk about why you're making that investment and what you're seeing when you're out visiting those schools? Absolutely. Well, we invest in the schools surrounding our facilities because we want to make sure that we're developing a pipeline of talented scientists, engineers, and craft skilled workers for the future. Um, and we've just, again, had an incredible experience. And one of the things that I think really stands out to me about my um, visits to Project Lead the Way schools in our local communities is um, at one point I went into a classroom and uh, there was an epic fail. There was just... Yeah. The, the um, student just, you know, the, the project went the wrong way and everything went everywhere and I, I braced myself and I was nervous for a second. And that teacher, without a step, just stood up and said, the best fail ever. How did it fail and how do we get it right? And this is incredible. And that's like the spirit of innovation and teamwork and collaboration that we want to see and that we love about this program. Well, those are such powerful learning opportunities and not just looking for, not looking for right answers, but problem solving, trying to figure out how do we, you know, the things that you're doing in, in global, really a global company, uh, mining, steel, all those things that are doing that. We were on stage yesterday and you were on stage with a couple of your customers, Toyota yes. and John Deere. <laughs> so uh, you're supplying steel to, to great companies all across uh, the U.S. and around the world, too. We were talking about, uh, and we recognize quite a few teachers in here, yeah. that moment where that teacher sort of identifies that failure and that learning yeah. opportunity. And, and you all are supporting those teachers as well. What are the skills, and you think about strategies, too, for you to go out and recruit and provide opportunities to students? How, what are the strategies you're using to recruit that workforce in the future? Well, I think we're doing it through three, three main tactics. Um, the first thing is investing in programs like Project Lead the Way and other science and STEM curriculums throughout the country around our local facilities that are building that next generation. The second thing is investing in what we call our Steelworker for the Future program, where it's a two-year program where students go through a community college curriculum and then are offered jobs at our facilities as skilled craftspeople. Um, and then we also work with specific college partners throughout the country to recruit those engineers of the future. Yeah, I know companies are competing for talent, uh, you know, all around the country and around the world, really. And, and these other skills uh, we've talked about are so important. Uh, one of the things, the last thing I'll ask you, last question. We have a learning organization here, a conference full of learners. Uh, we always like to provide recommendations. Anything that you're reading currently, a book that you'd recommend, a podcast you're listening to that we could recommend for our audience? Absolutely. So I believe that innovation and diversity of thought are two of the most important things for anyone in the world today. And so I love starting the day off with a TED Talk podcast. Oh, great. Thank yeah. you. That's a good one. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're here. We've had great partners here being recognized and celebrating the important work you do. Had a chance to connect with some of the educators and, and the students who have been here presenting yes. as well. So we couldn't do it without great partners like ArcelorMittal. So thanks so much for joining us. Well, well, we thank you and we thank all of the teachers that are doing this amazing work day in and day out. Great. Thanks, Beth. From the Project Lead the Way Summit in Indianapolis, thanks for joining us.